Well, today is September 16th, 2024, and it was exactly one year ago today that some cypherpunks projected onto the Hofburg Palace in Vienna, Austria, fix the money, fix the world. And while at that time, Bitcoin price was around $26,000, one year later today, we are up more than double, around 120% or $31,000 to approximately $58,000 today. But the path from 26,000 to 58,000 has not been smooth. As you can see, we had an exciting launch in January of the Bitcoin spot ETFs when Bitcoin was around $41,000. The ensuing euphoria buoyed the price up to $71,000 by the end of March. But you know, for the next six months, it's been kind of a boring sideways chop. In fact, not only sideways, but we've printed a series of lower weekly closing highs uh, in June, July, August, and then most recently, we just closed the week at around $59,000. While that $59,000 weekly close was down a whopping 17% or $12,000 from the high in March, it is up slightly by 8% from the prior week. So today is the perfect time after six months of sideways chop to begin a dollar cost average strategy. And this week we are expecting some exciting news because the Federal Open Market Committee meeting will be later this week and everyone is expecting a 0.5% cut in interest rates, which will be the first cut in over two years. So we are fully expecting this bull run to get back on track, especially in Q4 this year, as well as Q1 and Q2. So if you already have a dollar cost averaging strategy, kudos to you, keep it up. Keep, you might want to add to it, but we're going to embark on an exciting project of our own with uh, our own dollar cost averaging strategy of a weekly investment of $25. Today, we're going to kick it off with an initial seed of $100. So I have set up my Binance US account for that. You could see we have $0 in crypto right now, but we're going to go ahead to the spot trading section of Binance and start with our exciting first buy of $100 in Bitcoin. So I'm just going to do a market buy initially with buy $100. We are using USDT. We're going to do a market, a market buy. So we are going to do a market order for $100 worth of Bitcoin. We are using USDT for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just say buy it on the market. And our market buy order was filled. Let's go ahead and look at our order history. You could see that it purchased it at an uh, average price of 57800 market buy. So let's go ahead and now um, check out our crypto balance. So we have, I put in a limit order for $100 and then also I did a market buy of $100. So guess what? We are investing $200 for our initial seed for this dollar cost averaging, averaging experiment. And then we'll go ahead and set up a $25 uh, weekly purchase. So you can see right now there's $197 uh, value. Um, that was less the, the fees, the purchase fees that Binance charges. But I'm going to go ahead now and set up our dollar cost averaging part of the experiment with weekly buys. And I mentioned we're going to do $25 a week. So let's go ahead and set this up. I believe it's going to do the first purchase today, but let's go ahead and review. It says uh, purchase type weekly price. Okay, this is today's price and that's how much it will purchase. And it looks like Binance says fees on crypto. I'm hoping it doesn't charge a fee for um, for dollar cost averaging purchases, but let's just find out. Okay, purchase in progress, it says successful. So let's go to our wallet and it should have the weekly purchase set up. Let's see, is it going? Here we go. All right, so here is a summary of how we've set up the launch of our DCA experiment. Uh, you can see 
going down to the very first transaction. Remember, we did a, a limit order to purchase $100 worth of Bitcoin, which was uh, 0.00172 Bitcoin or 172,000 Satoshis. We next did a, another market order for $100 worth of Bitcoin, uh, which was the same amount of Satoshis. And thirdly, we set up our first uh, $25 DCA purchase, which was about a quarter of that amount, so 41,000 Satoshis. Um, and then you can see here, it has the setup for our weekly purchase, which is going to be $25 worth of Bitcoin. Our total balance right now is um, 383,000 Satoshis, which is 0 0.0038 Bitcoin. Um, and that's worth right now $222, um, a little bit less than the total of 225 that we put in due to a little bit of fluctuation in market price, as well as a very small amount of um, transaction fee that Binance US charged us for those first two um, purchases. But do note that uh, for Binance, as well as many different exchanges that you might use, such as River, Swan, uh, Coinbase, they do not actually charge any fees for automatic DCA purchases. So that's a big benefit of doing a setting up an automatic DCA purchase program for yourself. All right. So that's the first day. Check back with us weekly. We're going to give updates on how we're progressing with our DCA experiment. Um, if you haven't already set up your own, I encourage you to set yours up. If you have one in place, good job. Increase the amount of dollars that you're putting in if you can. Until next time, be wise, be safe, and stack stats.